Welcome back to our channel. We are having heartbreaking news about death of Golden Richards. Golden Richards, a former receiver for BYU and the Dallas Cowboys, passed away early Friday morning in his home in Murray from congestive heart failure. He had been battling multiple health and prescription drug abuse issues for a long time, and his later years were plagued by these issues. Richards was one of the most gifted and troubled athletes that the state of Utah has ever produced. He was 73 years old. It was confirmed by his brother, Doug Richards, who was a former BYU basketball standout, that he has left us and gone to a better place. His brother. He put up a very strong fight right up until the very end, till it was finally his turn. Doug Richards stated that his brother suffered a fall on Christmas Day in 2022, which resulted in the breaking of his hip. Since then, his brother has undergone four operations on his hip, all of which have contributed to his deteriorating health. According to Doug, his mental capabilities had also been fast decreasing. Seven or eight years of wear and tear on the football field for a wide receiver who weighed 175 pounds and was also concussed multiple times, Doug added. It is clear that things took their toll. After graduating from Granite High School in Salt Lake City, Golden Richards was recognized as an all-state athlete in the sports of football, basketball, and track and field before receiving a contract to play football for BYU. After deciding to wear the number 22 in honor of his childhood hero, former Cowboys receiver Bob Hayes, he went on to complete his career with the Cowboys, playing for them from 1973 to 1978. In the 1978 Super Bowl, Richards was able to help the Cowboys defeat the Denver Broncos by a score of 27-10 by catching a touchdown pass that went for 29 yards. During his time at BYU, he was renowned for being the athlete with the fastest speed on the team. As a sophomore, he caught 36 receptions for 513 yards and scored a touchdown. In addition to leading BYU and receiving as a junior, he also had 33 punt returns for 624 yards, which averaged out to 17.9 yards. His performance earned him all VUAC accolades, and he was ranked first in the country in punt return yards and 16th in all-purpose yards. Before sustaining a knee injury that would hinder him throughout his professional career, Richards transferred to Hawaii for his senior season and caught 23 passes for 414 yards and five touchdowns. However, an injury to his knee would ultimately hinder him. It was in 1974 that he had his best season with the Cowboys, when he had 26 receptions for 467 yards and five touchdowns through the air. After playing with the Chicago Bears in 1978 to 1979, and the Denver Broncos in 1980, he retired from the Professional Football League. Richards, who was famous for his long, blonde hair and movie star appearance, tried his hand at broadcasting when he retired and was a part of the television show ESPN Outdoors. Richards began a lengthy and terrible path of alcoholism and drug addiction shortly after he retired, which led to a multitude of legal concerns. However, he never ran away from his problems and eventually became sober for the last decade of his life, according to his brother. Richards' journey began almost immediately after he retired. 2011 was the year when he received the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. The fact that he had problems with the opioids and pain medicines that were prescribed to him when he was playing football was well known, according to Doug Richards. In the National Football League, they were distributed like aspirin. After going through three separate divorces, Golden Richards is survived by her two adult sons, Goldie Jr. and Jordan, as well as her grandson, Jet, who is two years old. I am very sad because we were very close, Doug added. I am very sad. He struggled with addiction to pharmaceutical drugs and was finally able to kick the habit a number of years ago, but it was a difficult process. Throughout it all, he was a loving and devoted father, as well as a beautiful and wonderful brother. He had a great heart, a tender heart, and was just a really great guy, and obviously a great football player, said his family. Funeral preparations are currently being made. 